It's day one and uh, we are starting our journey for Leh Ladakh. All our friends and family have come to uh, bid us farewell. We are gearing up for the journey. That's Gorilla, Manish, Anthony. Anthony is feeling hot in that uh, heavy gear. Chitra, his family. Our bikes uh, ready for action. So finally, finally, it's starting our journey to Ladakh. <clears throat> We've been planning this trip since almost uh, six months now. And uh, finally the time has come. People tie this flag, the Tibetan flag on their bike when they are in Ladakh. But uh, this was gifted by my friend long time back and I had promised her that I'll tie this on my bike when I leave for Ladakh. I kept my promise. Get set go. Oh, my strand was down. I consider it as a good omen though. Mm -hmm. Uncle is putting a Nemo below each one's bike for good luck. Thanks to uncle and auntie, they were really supportive uh, for this trip. Thanks to the positive energy. That's my family, by the way. My car for peeping out of the window. You really want to miss me? I don't really believe our trip has finally started. Not many planning, not many expenses, and. Uh, Finally, we kickstart the journey for Leh Ladakh. Hashtag the dream ride. So I don't want to bug you by showing you this terrible Mumbai traffic. Signing off for now. So guys, it's uh, 1 a.m. and uh, we have just crossed the Gujarat border. So as you can see, the roads are wet, which signifies that it has uh, rained. But uh, nevertheless, uh, we were quite well prepared for the rains. So people warned us of going to Ladakh during the month of July because uh, July is the month of rainfall, heavy rainfall rather. But uh, we were quite excited on the contrary because uh, we are Mumbai cars after all. Chitrang has stopped. Let me find out why. I'll pause for a moment. We are entering the famous Baruch Bridge which connects Baruch to Ankaleshwar. This bridge is supposed to be India's longest cable bridge. And uh, this was inaugurated by uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. There was a time when this bridge was not uh, constructed. There used to be three to four hours of traffic on this road. Finally, finally, I get a chance to record my co-riders. We actually lag coordination. Like the way cable is least bothered. Although this is our uh, first ride together. All through the past. It's 6 a.m. in the morning, and uh, I put on the maps uh, because we are approaching Vadodara at the moment. And 20 kilometers from Vadodara, we will be taking a right turn towards Alol. And from Halol, the road would lead us to Godra. Our friend suggested us to take this route instead of uh, taking the Ahmedabad route towards Rajasthan uh, because uh, this is a little shorter and faster as well. We are approaching uh, the right turn uh, from where we'll be 
beach in Godra. This is the flyover from where you need to take a left. Yeah, so that's the right turn. As per the maps, of course. That's the toll Naka you will come across after taking a right turn for a uh, lol. It's uh, 10 a.m. and uh, we have just completed 12 hours of riding. We just crossed uh, Godra as per plan and uh, now we are heading towards Udaipur. So far so good, the ride has been uh, pleasant. We are not at all tired, we are quite fresh, nobody is sleepy and God for that. After riding for a few kilometers, our coordination is finally improving and uh, that's the best part of riding in a group. One thing about Anthony is that his existence in this trip is of huge support to me. He being the most experienced rider, oh, he's saying something. I wonder what. It was really dicey till the last moment whether Anthony will be a part of this trip or not. But uh, I'm glad he finally made it. There's Kevin and Chitran is right behind me. The skies look cloudy, but as per the weather forecast on Google, we shouldn't be facing any more rainfall up to Delhi. And uh, that's a good news for us. During our last halt, uh, Kevin told me that he's feeling sleepy. So I think we should be speeding up at the moment. It's 2 p.m. and we just had lunch at Udaipur and we are really feeling drowsy at the moment. I really don't feel we'll be making it to Delhi today because uh, Delhi is another 700 kilometers from here. I think we should be halting at Ajmer. Yes, probably we'll be halting at Ajmer today. It's 6 p.m. and uh, we're almost approaching Ajmer. We have been riding since last 20 hours now. The roads in Rajasthan and Gujarat are really good beautiful because there are no potholes on the road you can see not even a single pothole so this is the end of day one we'll be halting at Ajmer and we'll be aiming to reach Delhi or maybe Chandigarh tomorrow this is Kumar Roy signing off